So I'm sure you heard that there was an armed man arrested near a Supreme Court justice's home. And like I've said, and like I'll keep saying, the Supreme Court is filled with cult members. They're a member of a cult, a cult I call the Black Death Cult. And the reason I call them the Black Death Cult is because if you don't do exactly what they tell you to do, they'll hurt you. They'll threaten you with violence, and then they'll violate you. Or they'll threaten you with death, and then they'll kill you. That's their whole operational mode. And what you have to understand is every institution, every, almost every move that you're making, every choice that you're supposedly making is backed in this world by violence. So when you make a choice to go confront Brett Kavanaugh, right? With a gun, you get violenced. Of course you get violence. You know, but that's not that's that's not just with a gun. If you just try to talk to one of these guys, this guy's trying to talk to Ted Cruz, and look what happens. In other words, if you're not speaking to Ted Cruz in exactly the way that you're supposed to be, look what happens. You get violenced. You get violence. So if you don't address Ted Cruz in the exact way that he wants you to address him, then what happens? You get violenced. If you show up because you have a grievance against uh, against a uh, Supreme Court justice, what happens to you? You get violenced. Now, if a guy with a gun approaches you, right? If this guy who's got a gun approaches you, he can do that anytime he wants to. See, when you're in the Black Death Cult, you can have a gun and go anywhere you want to. But if you're not in the cult, like, like this kid, you can't show up at this guy's house with a gun. You can't show up there with a gun because that, that you know, they don't want that. The, the people who are in the Black Death Cult want to have all the weapons of death and destruction and want you to have none. Okay, that's the always the best case scenario. And if you look back in time at uh, the Middle Ages when there were knights running around, a knight could have a sword. If you were a peasant, you couldn't have a sword. You could have no weapons. And now if you go back and you look at, um, and you look at colonial America, the British soldiers could have guns. And they would do something called quartering, which means the guy shows up with a gun and says, I'm staying at your house. And you can't do anything because you don't have a gun. You're not allowed to have a gun. You, 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 you aren't able to rise up against this guy. That's why they wrote down, hey, we can have a gun. Because the best case scenario for the Black Death Cult is they have all the weapons and you have nothing. That's the best case scenario for them. Now, in the light of these guys, you know, uh, that started the branch of this country, USA, that we're in, telling the world we can have guns, telling the Black Death Cult we can have guns, creating their own uh, branch of the Black Death Cult with guns. Um, once again, the people in the cult have gone way out of their way to protect themselves from you. 
Look at this. Have, haven't you noticed that here's a person at a public defender's office. The public defender defends people who are on trial. He's not prosecuting. He's defending. And look at this woman is behind three layers of bulletproof glass. She's literally behind bulletproof glass. Haven't you noticed that when you go into a government building, they're behind bulletproof glass? There's something separating you from them? That should give you a hint that what they're doing is slightly more than nefarious. Why would you have to have bulletproof glass between you and anybody that you're dealing with? The reason why they have to have it is because they, the Black Death Cult, are perpetrating decisions on you that you may not agree with. They're perpetrating laws on you you may not agree with. They're telling you what to do. And if you don't agree with it, they understand that you could be angry. You could show up here and be real angry because the public defender didn't do his job. You could be real angry because the tax assessor just raised the, the, the tax taxable value of your house about $8,000. You could be real angry that, that the uh, prosecuting attorney put your son in jail. You could be real angry about these things. You could be real angry about a Supreme Court decision to tell you you can't have uh, certain rights. You could be real angry about that. So these cult members, which she's part of it, she's in it. Now, you may not be directly in it, but you may be working for the people who are in it. And that's what she is. She's not directly in the cult, but she's enabling the cult. Like, you know how they're talking about Phil Mickelson going on this, this Saudi Arabian golfing tour. You know, he's, he's supporting, you know, Saudi Arabia somehow. That's the same thing with her. She's supporting the Black Death Cult directly. She's getting paid by the Black Death Cult. She's taking their money. She's doing their bidding. She's filling, she's using their symbolism. She's sending out their symbols to people. You know, she's helping. Okay. She may not actually be in the cult, though. She may be just getting paid. Um, this kid is not in the cult. So when he shows up armed at the at uh, Kavanaugh's house, he gets violenced. Arrested, whenever you're arrested, okay, you are getting violenced. Because if you do anything against this arrest, what do they do to you? They beat you, they tase you, they kick you, they shoot you, they kill you. Uh, where's the guy? Uh, right here. See, you do anything against these guys. Grand Rapids officer was, was justified in fatally shooting this guy. This guy just ran away. It was after a traffic stop. He just ran away. He didn't assault the cop. He just ran away. That was enough for the cop to chase him, to get him down on the ground, and shoot him at point blank range. So make no mistake. And, and you, as a citizen, are under this threat 24-7, right? What if you run a stop sign? That's a traffic stop. What if you fail the signal? That's a traffic stop. What if you swerve in your lane? That's a traffic stop. So when you're driving down the road and you see a cop, you may get nervous because you don't know what that guy's going to do. And he can do whatever he wants because a cop is actually in the cold. One way you can tell if they're in the cold is if they've taken an oath. If they raise their hand and they have taken an oath, that is the oldest, oldest secret society method of pledging your allegiance to the secret society that there is. It's from tens of thousands of years ago they've been doing that. They've been getting them in cave, you know, initially in caves in secret, and they were swearing to each other by holding up their hands. Thousands of years ago in, in Greece, Rome, and the secret societies, you'd raise your hand and you take an oath. 
in the modern day, uh, guess who took an oath? You think Nicholas uh, took an oath, the guy who got arrested? No. Do you think the guy who arrested him took an oath? Yes, he did. You think Justice Brett Kavanaugh took an oath? Yes, he did. So Kavanaugh's in the cult, and the guys who arrested uh, Nicholas are in a cult. Okay? They're in the Black Death cult. They took an oath. Okay, guaranteed. Now, once again, this lady right here probably didn't take an oath. But she's helping the guys who took an oath. She's helping them. And that's that's where I get the number of, of about 10%. There's 1% of people that are actually in the cult, but there's about 10% of people in the whole world that are aiding and abetting the cult, the members of the cult. In controlling you, in killing you, in keeping you at bay, in keeping you away. Look at this guy. Oh. This is the okay. sheriff. What do you guys normally do here? This is my first time being here, so I didn't know if you could. That's it. That's the Black Death Cult right there in a nutshell. What do you guys do here? Shuts the door. It doesn't have to talk to him. Doesn't have to say a word to him. Doesn't have to answer to this guy. Doesn't have to, to explain himself. Nothing. And why is that? Because he's got the gun. He's the one who's going to shoot you. He's the one who's going to hurt you. He's telling you what to do. He's not listening to you. He's telling you what to do. Kavanaugh's telling you what to do. This woman and her public defender's office is telling you what to do. This cop is telling you what to do. Ted Cruz is telling you what to do. They're not asking your opinion. They don't care about your opinion. They don't care about you. They don't care about what you're doing. They don't care about how you live your life. They don't care about how well off you are. They don't care about anything about you, okay? They're here to keep you under control. They're here to keep you in slavery. They're here to keep you acting in a way that they want you to act. And if you don't do exactly what they say, they're going to hurt you. 